Well, all, uh, this video is going to be on Ubuntu uh, 1504 uh, daily build. Uh, this is obviously a Ubuntu Unity edition. And just some of the changes uh, or some things I've noticed that have been uh, some things that have been added or maybe taken away. Uh, so this isn't a review of any kind. It's just an observation video. If you haven't checked out Ubuntu in a while. Uh, there are some things that I'm glad to see back, finally, um, and it's kind of tough to, you know, go through a step-by-step -step process. But I'll just, uh, I'll just bring things up as I think of them. So usually I want to check the kernel name. So you just Control Alt T as usual, and it opens the terminal for you. You can uh, set the transparency of the background, which you've been always able to do, and. Uh, Ubuntu. So, uh, uh, you name dash R. Apologies for the flickering. I'm not sure why. It's I think it's an Nvidia thing. Because I know the AMD card never did that. In any case, so you name is uh, the kernel is 3190-8. That was updated last night, and I've had this installed since last night. So, um, and there's I checked for updates today. So that's the pretty recent kernel, if not the most recent, pretty close. And another thing is at the top you have this uh, input indicator and it has a virtual keyboard you can toggle on and off, as you see here. I don't, it's, it's fun to play with I guess, <laughs> I don't really have much use for it. You can, I guess you could turn this indicator off, I, I imagine, I don't know. It's not that bothersome anyway. File manager. Uh, I replaced Nautilus uh, uh, with Nemo. Uh, so this is Nemo here, which inter integrates nicely. Uh, it behaves pretty much the same. You can set your wallpapers and stuff. And, but it has things open as root and open terminal here, which Nautilus did, by the way. In, uh, when I was trying it out, it did have open terminal, open in terminal. Uh, desktop backgrounds, the various ones, change the color, the panel and side bar changes with uh, whatever the background is. You can see here. There's some nice ones in here, some interesting ones like this one. Uh, reminds me of a colorblind test or something. <laughs> Uh, and so on. I think this is the default right now. It looks. I don't, I don't know if that'll. That could change, I guess. And it's too bad that this uh, has been so uh, limited to, you know, change the theme. You have to get a third party tool like Tweak Unity, like Tweak Ubuntu to change themes, which I don't have any of that. I mean, yeah. I haven't installed any um, icons. There's some listed here, but uh, I guess part of it's from uh, whatever development uh, stuff might have gotten in here uh, for uh, the phone or whatever. Uh, cursor, again, too bad you can't really change this. You know, go red glass or handheld or whatever. Uh, the only time you see it usually is, yeah. Is when you open like a web browser, you open your file manager or anything on your Ubuntu desktop, it won't change. So that's too bad. And other than that, I mean, I, this tool is great. Uh, you, like the panel, you can change it to transparency, so I full transparency pretty much. And that's Compiz kicking in right there. <laughs> and again, it's the same thing, you have to install Compiz and through software center, through the command line, or through Synaptic Package Manager, and install the configuration manager settings, and you can have your desktop zoom, and uh, there's a comp is, there it is, uh, enhanced desktop zoom, this is uh, usually disabled, so button, zoom in button is, uh, I use shift and button 4, which is mouse wheel up, and shift button 5, which is mouse wheel down to zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. 
And yes, this crashes as usual. And I've had a few crashes with uh, various applications um, numerous times. But it hasn't been as bad since I've replaced it, uh, the file manager with Nemo. Uh, and of course, it's just a daily build of alpha version in some ways. So. But we're not too far off, I guess, uh, April, I think. Yeah, 1504, yeah, of course. Uh, 2015 April. I don't. I'm not sure the exact date actually. Uh, so some of the good things that are back. Uh, FFmpeg is back. Uh, even though I'm using a simple screen recorder, uh, FFmpeg you can record through the command line again. Um, I just did a sudo app get install FFmpeg and installed what I believe to be that. Anyway, it does. It does work. It does output to a video and, and the audio, whatever you choose in the command line. So that's great to see and hopefully that'll stay that way. <laughs> um, the other change is System D. Um, I know how I'm more familiar with it in Arch Linux but I'm not sure I guess it's obviously it's it's in the system obviously. Um, you can like in uh, Arch Linux for example you would type something like system D dash analyze and get an idea to boot up the blame and right now it's the UDEV settle device service then Plymouth which Plymouth by the way um, with proprietary drivers I was able to use the uh, fixed Plymouth script without the hardware info with the NVIDIA card NVIDIA card and it seemed to work I'm not sure about um, AMD cards so system D, uh, I think journal control, you can uh, TTL, disk, usage, and 8 megs, and uh, by all accounts, you can edit the journal uh, configuration file in the system to uh, not use up so much. I'm not sure. I uh, haven't had this installed long enough to know. It uh, makes any difference. Uh, another uh, thing to see uh, back is the full line installation, you know, the 600 or so megabyte install um, works. And I installed that before installing Play on Linux, and the Play on Linux didn't ask for anything. It didn't come up and ask to install a different wine version or anything yet. Of course they didn't install the game, but it, like everything's there. That's what I'm trying to say. Everything from the wine in the repo in the default um, you need to repository is there. So that's great to see as well. And so far most of the software is, you know, Audacity, you know, the usual stuff you might want to use or um, Handbrake, or uh, let's see what else is there. Caden Live uh, for video editing. Uh, what else? VLC Media Player. You know, it's, uh, it's all there. Um, Handbrake's a little weird though. Uh, these icons are fairly big, which is fine for me. <laughs> uh, when you go to videos for something, though, this doesn't look right. It, the black background is. Kind of difficult to navigate for me, at least. Uh, but it does work. So uh, I think this is just a point, a minor version off than the latest one. Uh, handbrake, that is. But I did try all these out, and they work as uh, fine. So great. So you can get all your software, most of your favorite software that I know of, uh, through, uh, as I said, either through Synaptic. <laughs> software center, command line, or whatever other tool you want to use. Alright, so the last thing I want to mention is if you want to, um, you can uh, try out these bash underscore aliases. It's actually a dot, so it's a hidden file. Um, if you want, I have it on uh, GitHub. I'll give you the address. All you do is you don't have to log in or anything, you just uh, check the raw view. You can just copy and paste this into uh, gedit 
or whatever text editor and then uh, just do a source source uh, till the slash dot bash I'll just underscore aliases and then it should work so instead of saying typing in sudo app get update it's just update or upgrade and PPA data uh, PPA repository and so on. It's pretty self-explanatory if you want to check that out. Okay, so that should do it for this one. Uh, I've been to 14, 1504 uh, sometime in April. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now.